another thing i learned is that when things are going crazy it's okay to just stay calm mm-hmm. yeah yeah <laughs> it's and no it's it seems so out of control um but with my friend here for a week i realized that every single thing that was happening what a lesson that was like almost preparing for the next phase of my journey which i'm like you know, getting into now with my work and my relationship um it was to see that things may happen in a way which doesn't feel like oh my god i wanted to be in a certain way that the conversation <laughs> to, to be here in the heart yeah. yeah i wouldn't have i mean yeah it was um you could say like a conflict that we were going through and i think off late i've just been being more conscious about my patterns and consciously wanted to choose not to be what i generally do in my unconsciousness and so that's that has been yeah so i chose not to uh, act out my pattern i chose to be different and that actually helped it actually helped but it did take on my part um some restraint to mm. just let it be and not react or not uh yeah this not participate and that's what took so long yeah yeah so um, yeah. not to go in with your um, personality no not to go in with the ego just to, to yeah, yeah, yeah. with exactly. humble, humbleness no trying to mm-hmm. respond and not react yes <laughs> so yeah that's that's been the call of late how are you how are things with you i'm very very okay i'm very very happy to be with you because i i i was really looking forward to having having had a conversation with you for a while and i miss it it's always very nurturing and very insightful no it's always we always yeah, share really from deep from the heart and um and learn always something when we both are here in conversation so i really miss that that's why i was asking you so many times sunny and then I, i'm sorry i had to cancel rescheduled last one but I, i was no no i have to i want to i i really am looking forward to talk to someone. yeah likewise yeah and it's it's interesting like when when that is happening and it's if the ease with which we both can communicate that hey like you know i've got something come up and it just moves because um there is no judgment of what's going on i'm like yeah i just accept what you're saying i know that you want this and you're not genuinely able to not make it and it's, it's fine and it's beautiful to just have that i i wish i wish that it was as easy to have that level of mm. relaxed <laughs> um <laughs> communication with most people around right it's just yeah. hard like to, to, i mean yeah it's, it's that comfort that i know that i know that what you're sharing I know you're just being truthful about it. It's like if you if you could, you would be there on that call, but you just have things coming up, and you're genuinely trying to let me know ahead of time. So yeah, I was looking forward to our chat. Like it's been so cathartic and uh, so nurturing. You already use a word for me as well. For me as well, I was in Kurg uh, last week. for a couple mm-hmm. of days back mm-hmm. in the close to the forest yes and you know yeah and i remember that time in november last year it was such a difficult time for me to just move into that place it was so quiet and solitary and just that one conversation with you it mm-hmm. it just kind of opened up my heart and i was more relaxed and well it's okay i'm i'm safe it's okay <laughs> so <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's so nice. And 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 like you were saying, you said it, you had a, a course last week. Was it the workshop you had? Was it last week or is it next? Uh, week? It's coming up. It's coming uh, up. It's coming up. Yeah, yeah, it's coming up. That's ah, yeah, yeah, true. Because for me, ah, uh, time passes by so quickly. <laughs> and it's true. Yeah, I put yeah. it before before it was happening. Yes, that's true. Can you imagine? It's already May. 
Yes, what the hell June. happened? It's already yeah, it's June. Al- almost June. Like yeah. half a year is gone. Like, are they like yeah, yeah. speeding up the time or what? Like what's going yeah. on? Yeah. Yeah, yes, yes. It goes so quickly. <laughs> it goes so quickly, but at the same time, it's also very, I don't know. It's not that it flies. Mm. It, it, it goes, but because time goes, let's say, in this in this <laughs> in this world. But I lived it. It's not that it yes. has flown away and I have missed it. Yes. No? It's really living in the moment, really being in the now, moment by moment, and then time. It moves, no, and and it's quick. It goes quick, but it goes quick. But at the same time, also, it's very. Um, when you are in now, you are there. So in yeah. the moment, it it doesn't um, move quickly. When you are in oh, now, man. you know what I, yeah. I want to say. It's uh, <laughs> I see it with the swimming. When I'm swimming now, I'm always yeah in the now and seeing how I swim, the movements and everything. And time doesn't pass by very quickly. <laughs> but but it doesn't it's not that it's boring and it's long, it's just that it is. So the conversations so yeah, yeah. It, it, the conversations <laughs> and it's it's really or the living is really being in the now and and in awareness and and seeing and observing, but well, yes, it goes. And now we're in June. <laughs> and we're in June. I wish, I really wish I could say that about me, but I'm absolutely present in all my times. But I do feel that when I am uh, in a deep conversation such as this one, or when I'm working with a client, then I do feel that time, I've lived my time, like I have done something meaningful and I've been fully present there or when I'm meditating I feel in that yeah. way yeah. Um, when I was in nature now like I was standing in, at the, the bank of the river Kaveri this last week I felt great and this one moment I had um, day before yesterday was it um, we went for kayaking and in the morning we had gone to the beach and I oh, for the first time in my life and when I was standing on the beach, completely not expecting anything, I saw dolphins, uh, like a lot mm-hmm. of dolphins just going on the mm-hmm. beach. This is impossible. I've never seen something like that before. So beautiful. I wasn't expecting it to happen. Yeah. And that was a moment where I felt like, wow, I have lived. Like, I've, I'm here. You know, this is <laughs> uh, <laughs> a miraculous um, I was an uh, event. I wasn't expecting it. And then that same day I went kayaking and I could see the sunset while I was in the waters and the sun was setting just down in oh, the water. Nice. Yeah. And I was with my friend who had come down from Mumbai, like he had come yeah. down to stay here for a week. And there were other people around and they were talking and having fun. And I was completely mesmerized by the sun setting and the colors changing from yellow to orange to red, just fading away. And I was, it just hit me that to be in that moment and witness that event with my friend next to me, it just occurred to me just this realization that so many things have had to happen for me to be here exactly mm-hmm. in this moment. So many events came together for me to be here. And those events would probably go back even before I was born. Mm-hmm. Like all those events had to happen when I was born and everything right, wrong, mistake, not mistakes had to stack up for me to be there and am I here to witness this this moment fully and it just I just went completely quiet and just sat there looking at the sun and I was like wow I so wish that I could live my life every moment that way well yeah and I don't think I have been I've arrived but I kind of have a glimpse of what that feels like like um, I think I've kind of understood a little bit of what you said, but not fully. Uh, uh, yeah, for me, it takes also still <laughs> time to be all the time in it. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, it's a it's a miracle, no? Every moment when we yeah. are when we are like that, living in the now, because every every next moment is a surprise. 
Yeah. Huh? Yeah. It's so, it, so... it was just magical, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And Earth is so nice, and then uh, I, I can see myself. Uh, you're explaining now you're in the kayak in the sea and seeing the sunset, and it's nature around. So it's really nature. it's this energy that you are part of it, no? And it is part of you. It's, it's so so. It's a, yes, it's magical. It's so nice. It I is. Love that. I love that. I yeah. do that. In the in the um, in the summer, and July mm -hmm. or so, we go over. Well, we go when my family goes, and we go to next to the beach also. And I take uh -huh. my my paddle board. And uh, and that week, every morning at seven, I'm paddling on the sea, and it's so because there's no one, you know, and it's so so magical, so nice to be there. <laughs> with the yes. water like chuk, 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 chuk. and yeah just just me in the water and the sun yes yes exactly yeah there was a moment when i was looking at the sun and all the other kayaks there were about mm -hmm. four of them they went behind me and i was just water mm -hmm. the sun and mm -hmm. the mountain right there i'm like mm -hmm. wow I'm, I'm just here by myself watching this whole event and uh, another thing I learned is that when things are going crazy, it's okay to just stay calm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's and you no, know, it's it seems so out of control. Um, but with my friend here for a week, I realized that every single thing that was happening, what a lesson that was. Like almost preparing for the next phase of my journey, which I'm, like, I'm getting into now, with my work and my relationship. Um. It was to see that things may happen in a way where it doesn't feel like, oh my God, I wanted to be in a certain way. So to kind of explain that, my friend landed at the airport in this city. Mm -hmm. in and I was expecting him to be here in less than about 45, it's just 45 minutes or less than actually half an hour ride from the airport. So just get into the cab and come here. And we were supposed to leave. So his flight was first of all delayed from Mumbai, where he's coming uh -huh. from, by almost three hours, three or four hours. He finally got the flight, and he's supposed to reach here by ten ish, ten o'clock. And eleven forty five at night is our bus um, from the bus stand, so about four kilometers away. Anyway, so he at the airport, he first of all reached late, and the cab the cab driver was not willing to take him. So he kept ah. trying two cabs. They were refusing. And there were some arguments breaking out of the taxi drivers among themselves. So he was almost held by, by 45 minutes at the airport. Wow. And all this nonsense. And I'm waiting because I've kept the dinner ready for him. He can have dinner. Yeah. And then we just shoot, right? Did we go? Um, he arrived here late. And as he was coming in, our the society where I live in, the apartment, the uh, security guard locks the main gate and the inner, inner gate of the apartment. He locks it. <laughs> and I don't have the keys for it, right? And I'm locked inside. So I told that guy, hey, I have a friend I'm expecting to come. He's going to leave the airport. Don't lock it. He said, yes. He locked it and he went and went, got, he went to sleep. So my friend arrives at, at the time he arrives late. And just at that time, there was a society member who was coming in, a young guy. He said, uh -huh. are, are you going to go inside? He said, yeah. He said, okay, I'll, I'll get my brother to open the gate for us. So he called his brother. The guy came down, opened the gates. And he said, you know what? Keep my number. Because in case you want to go out now, the guard is sleeping. You just call me. I'll come and open it for you. Ah, wow. <laughs> that, like, and so we, got, we quickly ate our dinner, like, in 10 minutes. And again, we had to go down. We called him, went down. We reached the bus stand with just four minutes to spare to get the bus was on. The engine was on. There was just four minutes. We got on the bus, four minutes into the bus left. And we would have totally missed that bus, which was four hours journey into Kool. Totally okay. missed that bus. Had he not been delayed from the mm -hmm. airport itself mm -hmm. to Mumbai. Mm -hmm. There was thunderstorm and fan storm there. So he had to wait for four hours. He reached here. He had to wait for 45 minutes. 
only when he arrived did he see that guy entering and he asked are you looking to go inside and if he had not found that guy he would have been locked inside and never made it to work yes 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 <laughs> and i said to my friend brother like do you see if you were to put the mathematical odds and probability on this what are the odds that all of these things have to line up in such a way that you could go and you could go and spend two days in that place yes yes it's we don't see this but and we complain about oh this uh, that guy cab driver on my flight is late but it had to line up exactly yes. that way or we we would have missed that bus totally yes and we both were amazed we're like wow like can we can we really with our little minds calculate this and create it yes no 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 it's incredible it's, it's incredible incredible like Yeah, for me when i when things happen to me that i have to go back home to pick up something i mean stress or whatever and I, i always tell myself it's because of something you shouldn't be you shouldn't be there when you were planning to be there it's it's when or or something is happening and you're just being delayed on purpose it's okay take it in and just continue yeah. because yeah. we never know yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And we just have to trust. It's a trust. And yeah. An expectation, not to to play with the expectation, not to to join in, no, and say, uh, "I was expecting to be there." I, it happens to me a lot because I'm I'm very in this case I'm very Swiss in the way of timings, <laughs> <laughs> you know. And I I get I get. If someone tells me to be there at ten thirty, I want to be there at ten ten twenty five, no. Yeah. Um. And I I I organize myself to be on time and all those things, no. But sometimes, really, when things happen like this, I say, okay, I cannot do anything. It's just like this. It's because of something. Mm. And, yeah. And I appreciate. Wow. That. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's there. Like we have our backgrounds. Mm -hmm. Um. I think that's where surrender counts, right? I call it, you call it trust, and I call it surrender. You just mm -hmm. kind of say, okay, I did everything I could, but so there are some external events I can't control, and so I'm just gonna surrender and accept it. And looking back, it's just like, wow, it's mm -hmm. perfect. Like I couldn't have mm -hmm. planned it that way. Like, mm -hmm. had he come on time, in fact. We would have missed the bus because that guy would have locked us out anyways. Yes, yes, yes. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's so it's so nice. It's a, yeah. it, it reminds me when when I went to India, um, already, already. Wow, almost five years ago that I went alone and I had just a ticket to to New Delhi back and forth and I went being there. I said to myself, I will plan, I, I will live and I will plan as I am there to see where I'm going. No? And it was, I was four weeks there and it was so, so perfect, everything, because uh, one thing connected to the other. And I remember the last five days, four days, I went to Goa uh -huh. and th there was a monsoon and it had just finished when I landed in Goa. And then, mm -hmm. because I had the... Three weeks prior was always raining, raining, raining. No, and uh, I, I I got there and it was and those beaches are so beautiful and 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 plus there weren't much tourists because it was monsoon season and it was just perfect and a beautiful ending of my trip where I was able to disconnect which I hadn't done before <laughs> in yeah. three weeks I was I didn't wow. disconnect and it was uh, those four days were. The magic of of India it was so beautiful, and it was yeah also where I stayed and everything was so so magical. Well, the whole trip was magical, but that uh, yeah. showed me the the flowing and the letting go and the trusting and the enjoying and the yeah. and the living. Yeah, and that's the thing about India. I I keep saying this to people that India will test you to see if you can really learn to surrender. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yes, <laughs> very fast. <laughs> yes, it, yes, it's a place that really tests you. So yeah, you can either complain and, and get the same results, or you just 
flow, as you said, flow with it. And you will find that it actually is helping you surrender and grow faster. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Yes. It's interesting. Yes. I learned a lot. It was very nice. Was yeah. Very nice. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> there are certain trips or certain happenings like you were saying now no you have this you were there in the kayak and the sunset and it's because you're starting and you you're preparing yourself for the change no that you know yeah. there's a change no yeah and it's it's really beautiful to see when when we know we are going we are going through a change an internal change um, where we are growing, you know, opening up to other things, whatever they come, we are open-hearted to it, to them because at the end we never know what it is there, but it's always magical and beautiful. But uh, those type of events, even if it's one day or it's a trip or so, those types of, of events that show us the, the magic um, happen. Because yes. I guess it's because it's to feel insight to see insight and um, feel that we are magical as well and that uh, we cannot control and we don't have to have expectations because when we don't have expectation when we don't control those things happen no like the sunset yeah. Like, uh, yeah. and and when we know there's a change coming a growth uh, it's a nice, it's a beautiful reminder because um, if we put an expectation to that change, we're limiting ourselves. Absolutely. No? And if we let it go, we let it flow, I mean, and to to trust and to, um, yeah, to surrender, we will be beautifully, we will be magically surprised looking back looking back it it all <laughs> makes sense in hindsight right we just throwing our arms and legs and screaming and resisting no i don't want this and then life just does it to you anyways and you look back and like oh that was good Mm-hmm. I was getting a bit anxious about my friend coming and I was getting annoyed. Why is the flight late? I have to catch a bus at 4, 11.45. All of that stuff. Um, if it had worked the way I thought would be perfect, like where he could be on the flight on time, I talked to the security guard and he would still go back and sleep anyways mm-hmm. and lock us inside. Mm-hmm. We would not have caught the bus. No. But life knew it better. Mm-hmm. And... And it's just that precise moment. And this is late at night. Like he reached at 10, 15. Like at that time, just to meet a person who's entering the gate and this is unbelievable precision. What are the mathematical odds? I mean, one to a million, I don't know. (laughs) I can't add it up. It it doesn't make any sense. No, no, we cannot. It's too small. It's too small. Yeah. And then the significance of the trip, like just to go back and reconnect with the place. I went and spent time with the river where I would spend a lot of time um, just interacting with the river. And you know, for me, that that river, she is a living entity. Right? Mm-hmm. Like I, mm-hmm. I have felt the energy of this beautiful, I don't know how many hundreds, thousands of years old river that is. And I talked to her, I addressed her as mother. And so it was a beautiful moment to just reconnect with her and just talk to her. And lo and behold, I come back and I'm seeing some shifts in my in my business. Instant, it's just instant, like it's just like that. You know, people want to work with me, they're calling me. I'm like, wow, I had to be here. And it, it, it was all for a reason. All had to work out that way. I'm really happy for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What have you been doing with your coaching and stuff? Have you um, started working on that now with your, you're working with your colleagues and coaching them? No, well, at, at work, um, at, at that work, 
I'm I'm uh, always I continue no and I love it yeah. um, to support them and grow them no and um, and what I see they can can become in 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 their professional lives no with who they are no and with their essence so that I, I it's always there and I I like it and then um, besides that I'm. Uh, while I'm co-creating conversations, which nurture me a lot, and I see impact, I see impact, yes. and I love that. I don't know, that's also magical. I don't know <laughs> for what they are and uh, how they impact, or um, uh, it's just the uh, it's the feeling and the feedback I get, or or the comments of people that uh, it's so beautiful and nurturing to know that something has changed in them just by being with me here and co-creation or by listening no because wow. i think i think then when we share heart to heart when we are open both of us there's a energy no there's a vibration and there's always wisdom that doesn't come from our mind, but from our heart at that moment in time, in this moment in time. <laughs> and that is always very, very also magical. And and it will serve someone. It serves us and it serves someone, which we don't know, no? Because we... And I love it because it's not interviews, it's just flowing in and being, no? and from the being creating and co-creating. So um, wisdom happens. I just don't know which one it is, what it is, no? <laughs> but <Yeah. laughs> but you don't uh, have to know. I, know. I don't have to know. I really don't have to know. I just you love it. As you said, as long as we are here and having this conversation and just keeping our heart open, um, there is that moment of learning. We may have realizations long after the call mm -hmm. is over that, oh, well, like we talked about something really nice and, and that made a lot of sense now. Yes. And yeah, the, these vibrations, this conversation that you're putting up on, on YouTube, um, you never know at what age it how many years later someone or even now how many weeks later days later um, someone might just be waiting to hear those very words yeah yeah and it's yeah. not yeah and it's not, not only i guess now talking to you and listening to you now it's not only that someone will hear us it's that we are sharing now open hearted and there's a vibration now that is going out it's flowing into the either into whatever it, into yeah and um and through that we are already creating change we are, we are already yeah. transforming and um yes and generating a, a positive impact from, just from that from from the flowing from the being and um oh. It's just... I can feel like this whole really warm, fuzzy feeling here. Uh, so <laughs> happy <about that. laughs> yeah, you're very, yeah. you're like me. You're very sensitive. Yeah, I, I just feel this. It's nice. It's a, it's very expansive. It's very warm with heart, uh, hot, no, expansive, and it's it yeah, grows out everywhere, and it connects with everything. And it's yeah. uh, it's really it's beautiful. So so I I will continue co-creating these conversations. It's something I feel it's for me to serve. It's you know like you, we are in service to something bigger, no, than ourselves. So this is for me. A, I'm responding to a call, which I don't know where it's yes. taking me, but it's a call that in addition nurtures me. So, so mm -hmm. it's really something that it's part of who I am, and it's for me to be in relationship with others. It's beautiful. Um, 
because as you were saying that i just realized that um even for me like working on other parts of myself was one thing but i always felt very restricted when it came to expressing myself although i am on social media and i talk stuff um but having a space where there is no agenda but just connecting and letting using your voice mm-hmm. to express yourself using your voice and feel things it is that's where expression creates the magic and you know you're giving an outlet to your heart it's so important that you do what you do it's a service uh as you said to even bring other people and all of us we talk in that space it's just giving an outlet for for us to express ourselves and that's a beautiful service it's you know most people don't understand the significance of expression and the significance of not expressing your mhm yes the energy just gets stuck right there yes that's you get blocked that. yeah and more than like you said more than somebody else hearing that in the future it's hearing yourself say those things yes. now, even right now like i'm just letting it flow without having to think about what i'm saying i'm just let the words roll out of my mouth and it's beautiful to just to hear myself say this because honestly i've we've had these conversations for a while and i've thought beautiful space but it's giving me a whole new dimension in understanding of why you in your heart are genuinely called to do this mm-hmm. and it's because you haven't fully figured out with your left brain and you haven't tried to make sense of it and yet decided to act on it mm-hmm. and you're able to maintain the integrity of that intention that you have i do want the space for those to express themselves yes it's, 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 i don't even know if i'm articulating it that well but it's just a beautiful beautiful thing that you're doing oh, thank you i love you you know that <laughs> yeah, of course i love you too i love you too yeah it's just so safe it's just a piece of safe to hear that and see that to you and that's beautiful thank you <laughs> thank you thank you the the when you were talking no and now sharing i'm another thing I, you were saying about the blocking and and it's true no we, when we are flowing like this we are allow, allowing our heart to go up and i mean the energy up and extend everywhere but also uh, and i'm blocking mm-hmm. this part no and going yeah. into the mind because at the end the mind is to serve the heart no and not vice versa but oh, it's vice versa. yeah and so it's it's this sharing opens up this one no unblocks this mm-hmm. one so that really every day we we are able to to share stronger from our heart no share better without and without any limitation no i, I remember me, some time ago I was saying I'm daring to be who I am, no? I'm daring It's because there was some fear. Now mm. I am who I am in my expressions because I I don't fear anymore. It's me that has unblocked here. It's I guess there are much more to unblock, but uh, there's n- no fear anymore in in expressing um who I am what in the moment. there's only freedom no freedom and wisdom that comes through in what you're saying you know it comes through because i'm listening to myself and sharing with you and listening to you to your heart and listening to myself to my heart there's wisdom that i and i recognize and integrate um, yeah and that's 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 it like you know, we want to you, you don't have to figure out because it is serving it is serving you it is serving the person sitting with you and uh, how could it not serve somebody else who might listen and like whether they do or not whenever they do how could it not serve and it's the intention that they come with and what they want to learn from this mm-hmm. conversation mm-hmm. but for you and for me uh, the intention is clear mm-hmm. it's just it's just um 
sharing this beautiful, safe, healthy space to express ourselves and yes. coming out for us, right? And I don't know why this picture keeps coming back again and again as I'm talking. It's just when we are having these true and beautiful conversations, um, we are also in a way refining ourselves as this healthy healthy cells of a body and mm -hmm. when we are healthy we are flowing better so you know i like to think of us as human beings as this neurons of the larger being that is you no know, we're not independent but we are independent and yet we are the part of the whole and so we are this intelligent neurons flowing and then we are healthy like you and i are neurons and we are moving and we are healthy we are creating that flow of life together that's where I see this conversation as well. We this flow of life and this being healthy together. Yes. I love it. Mm. <laughs> so beautiful. So nice. And I, and I, I am super, super grateful that um, we get to have this, that have, like, have, we have these conversations. I really, really feel grateful. And so... Yeah, it's it's just feels it feels nice to not have an objective for it. It's just mm -hmm. so it's just so this. So yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's the heart yeah. Yeah. founding yeah. and <laughs> connecting. Thank you, yeah. thank you so much, Sunny. Thank you. I love you. Really grateful. Thank you, Jana. Thank you. <laughs>